Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the major MCE D1. This is number one drive cam for an extended cylinder. Here's what it looks like in its packaging, and here's what it looks like out of its packaging. So this is a drive cam. This is a component used in a modular system from Major that allows you to, in at its root, take a mortise cylinder and simply make it a longer mortise cylinder. And this is one of the components required in that sort of conversion. And they have uh, extensions and then they have drive cams. And the extensions will work on any mortise cylinder. It's where you need different drive cams to work compatibly with the different cylinder types that you would use, meaning cylinder manufacturers. The back of a Schlage versus a Medico versus a Corbin Ruswin will all be different. Um, so that's where the drive cam comes in. So they manufacture about 10 different drive cams. This is the number one drive cam, and the number one drive cam is used uh, on multiple manufacturers. For me, I use Kaba Ilko cylinders generally when I'm building a custom length. So where you would be looking at this is, is the following. You have a requirement for two and a quarter inch length mortise cylinders and I need them now, basically. So what we end up doing is pulling off of the shelf a stock uh, mortise cylinder, let's say inch and a quarter, inch and an eighth. You know, the com most common sizes that is gonna be kept in stock. And we can use the major system of extending that cylinder, the drive cam is part of it, to give you that two and a quarter. That's just an example. I think I've done two and three quarter is what I've done in the past. Um, that was the longest. Uh, and I've never stacked the extensions on top of each other, but I'm confident that it would work out uh, very well as, as well um, to do that. Although I've never personally done it. So the drive cam, I'm gonna give you the dimensional properties of this, and then we're gonna switch to the screen view and take a closer look at the supporting documentation. Okay. Now let's take some dimensional properties of our drive cam. Um, the drive cams are, um, they are always going to be the same size because the components that you get in each uh, extension will change uh, so that there's only one drive cam, meaning there's only one size of drive cam, but then there are 10 different drive cams. The overall thickness is 0 0.287, 0 0.287 overall thickness, just providing this for the sake of providing it. Outside diameter, 0 0.563, 0 0.563 outside diameter. You're also gonna get a couple of very, uh, I, I don't know this thread type, it might be, it might be a three whatever the thread type a 348, uh, maybe a 440. I don't recall that thread type on that, but nonetheless, these screws are included uh, with that. And perhaps now the best thing to do is to simply switch to the screen view where we can take a closer look at the supporting documentation. Here is the cut sheet from the manufacturer, and this is linked to down below this video. And on this page, you will see all of the drive cams, but I think diving into the drive cams is a bit premature. Let's start on the on the first page of the cut sheet where we're gonna be able to look at, this is the MCE-100 mortise cylinder extension kit. And this is what you get if you were to purchase the tool to execute this procedure. You're gonna take a, a mortise cylinder, you're gonna clamp it, clamp it, bolt it, secure it to the back of the fixture. You'll be able to drill the holes, remove this faceplate, put on the tap guide, bolt it down to this faceplate, and then tap your holes is exactly what it's for. You'll need three Allen wrenches. You're going to get the tap handle and a, um, and a tap, along with the proper size drill bit for the 832 thread, and then that stop that's going to be there with the set screw so that you know to stop drilling so you don't drill through the face of the cylinder. And so you either will use this, purchase this installation aid, or you won't. And if you don't, then, and I don't believe that you have to have it. Um, however, freehanding drilling this uh, is not advised. 
and you can certainly make your own fixture, I suppose, but I can tell you from actual experience, the precise placement of the holes is required. And while I did need to learn the personality of my fixture to make sure to get it placed so that I was pointing those screws, that drill, I should say, at the proper position um, is really crucial. Otherwise, the cylinder won't work perfectly smoothly, um, absolutely smooth. And this tool is not inexpensive, but um, I, I don't know that I would freehand the, 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 the work. Uh, that, that, that drill has got, you know, if you can get it marked absolutely correctly um, and you use a drill press, I can see good success. Um, but I would, I would, I would say that I would probably opt for this tool. I'm someone who sells door hardware as a living and I work on this type of material routinely and I appreciated the required precision to the point where I bought the tool and have it on my bench. Um, but at the same time, uh, I wouldn't say that everybody would need that same help that I would. However, um, it's like any other thing in locksmithing. There's a specialized tool for every step. And hopefully you have more than one to do so that you can amortize the cost of the tool. Well, as we move through, we're going to get to the extensions. And they have four of them. Half, three quarter, one inch, an inch and a quarter. They include the adapter on the, uh, that, will, that will go inside of the extension. But this, down here I should say, will sit inside of the um, drive cam. So you're either going to have the, the installation aid, the drilling fixture aid, or you won't. You'll certainly have the extension, and you're going to need the drive cam. And that's where page two comes in. And before we get to talking about the different drive cams, fast way to make longer mortise cylinders, extender kits, and the drill guide allow you to do so. You can make them up to two and a half inch longer. Well, that's assuming you're starting with an inch and a quarter mortise cylinder and adding an inch and a quarter uh, extension, well, you know, we stock inch and a half cylinders, um, and we have others that are two inch and probably longer, but generally Kaba Ilko is kept in stock up to inch and a half. So could I build three inch? Yes, I could. I would just simply take, um, what I would personally do is I would take a, um, you know, the longest cylinder I had, if I was going to three inch, and I would use two extensions, I would stack them on top of each other. You will need to buy longer screws, though. That's an 832 thread. I would add a quarter inch in length to the thickness of my collar. So this, these screws required would be three quarter, one inch, inch and a half. You see the point. I would use some thread lock as well when I lock those in. So you'll need longer screws if you're going to double these up, which I've never personally done, but I wouldn't hesitate to do. Simply choose, choose a drive cam. We'll get to that in a moment. That's compatible with your cylinder. Drill it accurately. It requires the drive cam, the drive cam sold separately in addition to the extender kit. Choose your drive cam from the chart. Well, here's the chart. The D1 is compatible with these cylinders. And Dorma is very likely Kaba Ilko because they're now the same, owned by the same parent company. And that's what the D1 looks like, which is what we're looking at here. But they can do Medico, they can do Arrow and Sergeant Corbin, uh, removable core Corbin, GMS standard and interchangeable core, Obloy Protec of all things. If you've not, if you're not familiar with Obloy's cylinders, and you are interested in high security, this will blow your mind. This is a, this is an extremely dependable high security cylinder platform, like no other cylinder that you've seen. Is actually more like a lock on a safe, in my opinion. Um, than a pin tumbler cylinder. ASA, since we're talking high security, would be here. That is like a Schlage Primus. And in fact, the same person who patented the ASA patented the Primus and of course vice versa. Very similar concepts. The same concept just derived in a couple of different ways. Um, very ingenious, the ASA. Very, very ingenious. Um, by comparison, the, it'd be my opinion, the Schlage is less ingenious. Um, but but very robust. Yale, conventional and removable core. Schlage large format, or what is called full size, 
However, because Schlage is forever evolving their product line like no other manufacturer, and I was in a class on forensic locksmithing a couple of years ago, and the lead instructor, two, two really great instructors, the lead instructor just said, if he, he says that he talks to his friend at Schlage, uh, and he says, would you just please stop? You know, there's always changes. I don't know if Schlage currently makes a cylinder that will work, that will take the D10. Um, I've never tried it, but you would want the cylinder that's not modular, that's for sure. So that's what all the drive cams look like. And then a finished example is right here. Yep, that's what it looks like. That's to be sure. Okay, works out really well. I had a client call up and need, needed Schlage FG two and three quarter, or two and a half, whatever it was, but FG. So I was able to get for the client. Um, and it was acceptable to him. It would normally not be, in many instances, a Kaba Ilko cylinder. The client has an FG, which is a classic keyway, part of their classic seven keyways. Sold the client the composite Schlage C through K, which would be C. This composite broaching would take C, E, C, E, F, E, F, G, F, G. Okay, so that was the plug. Inch and a quarter length, no problem. Uh, whatever the extension was, maybe inch and a quarter or whatever I did. I forget, and bam, I was able to ship them out three days later, that sort of scenario. That brings me to another point. You can buy all these parts. You can certainly do all the work yourself. I can sell you the, the template. I can sell you the extensions, the drive cam, and the cylinders. You can do the work yourself. We can also do that here as well. Now, there is a link below this video as well to the manufacturer's page, and from here you can pull up not only all of the major products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as link to the full product catalog. If you're a locksmith, it's most certain that you're familiar with Major and know that they sell lock installation tools, security hardware, uh, things to support the entire locksmith community and industry and their end users and clients. But if you're not a locksmith and you're somebody looking for installation tools, well, you found them. Um, as the world of lock installation kits forever gets smaller and smaller, Major still has an exceptionally comprehensive product offering with very good quality companies like A1 just ceasing operations altogether, leaving a huge hole. Well, Major um, has these products. Now, the HIT 111, if you're, if you're doing a lock prep, if you, if you are doing through-bolt holes in doors and you want a tool that will last you years, the HIT 111 is it. Um, you know, you're, if you're doing Schlage or Best or, you know, whomever, Whoever's lock, they all have a plastic lock installation tool. Um, and, you know, if you find that you tear through those really quick, I would say two things. I would buy the HIT 111, but before I bought the HIT 111, I would say um, use the tool more gingerly because what you're doing is wearing out the, dry, the drill bushings. I personally have used a Schlage, mm, it might be an M204-198. M204-198, I think it is. Yeah, definitely. I've, I've personally used one of these. I have never worn... Well, that's not true. At about the 100 door mark, I, I can tell that the bushing is starting to take a little bit of punishment. Uh, you know, so really, it's the, the drill bushing that you're looking to make sure is going to last. So drill nice and straight and don't, you know, don't drill off the inside wall of the of the drill bushing but this is going to allow you to do schlag and sergeant and corbin russwin let's just since we're talking about the hit 111 let's take a look at it and by the way hit is hardware installation template is what that's uh what that means and what i've recognized is that i have been clicking through all of the compatible manufacturers arrow cal royal Corbin Russwin, Falcon, General Lock, IDN, Lori, Marks, Moss Hamilton, Medico. You get the point, okay? <laughs> PDQ, obviously Schlage. Uh, Sergeant is not here. I had said Sergeant earlier. That's not going to work on the HIT 111. You'll need a different unit for that. Cylindrical lever lock is the hit 15 for Sergeant. But this catalog's helpful because you're going to find this cross reference chart. So you're able to go to this section of the catalog and just 
tell me the part number that I need, and you're gonna you'll be there. Okay, really great. Uh, security hardware as well. I had mentioned bolts, lock installation kits, security hardware for cylinders. You just can't go wrong with it. Okay, let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, drive cam for Kaba Ilko and those other variants. I would not hesitate to suggest that you consider, as a last ditch effort, a um, extend a cylinder idea. There are just times that people call me, I need a two inch cylinder and I need it tomorrow. And uh, we're able to do that by either extending, because I keep some parts on hand and we can, within a short amount of time, prep that up usually. Um, there's also residential hardware manufacturers, uh, high-end lock manufacturers that manufacture beautiful trim and mortise locks. And that manufacturer generally keeps long cylinders on hand because they bump into two and a quarter inch thick doors as much as anything else, it seems. So there's always long cylinders that are available uh, also, but you know it may not be what you need. You also might have a cylinder that you need to extend. That's why they have that Obloy ProTech. Um, if you're interested in, in cylinder construction, the ProTech is like no other cylinder that you've probably encountered, if, meaning if you've not heard of it. You need a you need a two inch thick a two inch long ProTech cylinder tomorrow. Yeah, that's you're gonna you're gonna buy the tools and you're gonna do the work yourself and extend that ProTech uh, a mortise cylinder out. Again, any questions on the MC E D one drive cam or any other major manufacturing product? Please feel free to reach out to us and thank you. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.